With astrophotography comes many variables, including seeing conditions, sky transparency, tracking errors, guiding errors. And sometimes in processing, we find we have some slight bloating or even some slight elongation in our stars. But that's okay. That doesn't mean that your photo's trash. Thanks to RC Astro's Blur Exterminator, we have an easy way to correct this. Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today we're on our second lesson in our Pix Insight series. And what we're going to be covering today is a process called deconvolution. And what deconvolution does is it tightens your stars back up. Because what variables like seeing conditions and sky transparency, tracking errors and guiding errors, that affects how your stars look. And what you'll find is that your stars may have some slight bloating or some slight elongation, but that's okay. That's what Blur Exterminator is going to take care of for you. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any future information. We've covered a lot so far in this channel and we have a long way to go. And what you're going to find out is that, yes, even though PixInsight has a learning curve, it's really not that bad. So let's head on over and learn about RC Astro's Blur Exterminator. So here we are in PixInsight. And I'm going to show you how to use RC Astro's Blur Exterminator and just how powerful it is. So over here, I have M16 up. This is in its linear form. There's nothing done to this. This was taken with an ASI 533MC camera and a Celestron Omni XLT 150 OTA. And the mount was an AVX. So you can see here we have some elongation going on. We have, you know, these stars are pretty bloated. Now, what I'm going to show you here is in process, all processes, we're going to go to Blur Exterminator. And this is what the window looks like. Now, this is RC Astro's Blur Exterminator 2.0. And what it wants you to do first, now this is going to cover steps one and three in our workflow which we'll get into workflows as soon as we're done with uh, learning all these processes. But what Blur Exterminator wants you to do first before anything is run a correct only. And what this is going to do is it's going to correct any potential issues with the stars, especially at the edges, um, before we run uh, SPCC or Spectrophotometric Color Calibration. So what we're going to do is we're going to click correct only. We're going to take this little arrow and just drop it on the image. And just watch these stars. Now, look at what it did already. Here's before, here's after. Let's zoom in a little bit. We'll zoom in on this star. Before, after. You see how it corrected the elongation over here? Before, after. After that, we would run SPCC, or Spectrophotometric Color Calibration. Now, we're going to get into that. That's going to be our next lesson. But for now, the next step after we run SPCC is we'll run the full on Blur Exterminator. And to do that, on a one shot color camera, we're going to click over here and extract a luminance. What we'll do is we're going to click on uh, apply screen transfer functions using 24 bit lookup tables. You always want to click on this. And then we'll just hit Control A. Do a quick stretch on it. We're going to go to script, image analysis, full width half max eccentricity. What this is going to do is give us our full width half max reading, and I'm going to show you where to put that number. So 2.771. I'll generally round this number. Um, so we're just going to leave this at 2.77 since that's the closest um, hundredth that we're going to have. 
In other words, 2.771 will round to 2.77. So let's exit out of these. Let's bring back Blur Exterminator. Uncheck Correct Only. Non-Stellar Adjustments Automatic PSF. Um, you can do automatic, it does a good job, but we like perfection. So we're gonna take that number and just plug it right in over here. Now, another thing here, sharpen non-stellar, leave this at 50, okay? Sharpening is a benefit of this, but you don't want to um, overdo it. We're gonna get into that later on in the workflow. So these are literally the default settings, okay? The only thing that we're changing in here is PSF diameter. So 2.77, we're gonna take this and drag it back over. And then we're gonna let it do its thing. And there you go. Look at the difference. Here's where we started. This was after correct only. And this is fully done. This is after correct only. This is before correct only. So this is where we started. Correct only. And the full deal. Let's take a look in another region. We'll take right over here. This is where we started. This is after correct only and after the full deal. And that is all that it takes to do deconvolution with RC Astro's Blur Exterminator. So I hope you found that useful. I hope that you're getting excited because you're seeing right here, this is really all that PixInsight is. I mean, there are, there's a lot of stuff that you can do in PixInsight but there's also a lot of processes that make this extremely easy. So again, I hope you found that useful. Do me a favor, that channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss this opportunity and miss any future uh, content coming up. Throw a comment in the comment section. What questions do you have? Uh, what are you currently doing for deconvolution if you're already on Pixinsight? And then uh, check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.